My name is Juan Medina, and the title of my book is The Border Town Memories. Never killed anyone, never had anyone killed. I was born in Mexicali, Baja California. If you can see right through there is a place called Smuggler's Gulch. Uh, that was where at 19 years old I threw over four, four uh, duffel bags of marijuana, uh, 80 kilos, and drove, rode away on horseback. And that's where I started. I went to a friend of mine, I, a, we were in uh, elementary school together in the fourth grade. He went on to become a ranking customs and border patrol agent, okay? I asked him one time, if I write this, would I, could I get in trouble? He looked at me, he said, no, you go ahead with your dream. He said, but first, did you ever kill anyone? I said, no. Did you ever have anyone killed? I said, no. He said, oh, there's a subtitle. <laughs> so he says, I'll do better. I'll introduce you to a guy who was part of the task force that was patrolling the border at that time, okay? Because uh, Joseph Wamba in that book doesn't mention drug dealers. I said, that's strange. Uh, and I called him about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here I am. He, said, I'll, he says, I'll do something better than that. I'll arrange an interview at the nearby uh, uh, coffee shop. I said, okay. So we went over there and there I am, the next drug dealer interviewing two ranking ex-customs officials. I said, well, how often does that happen? <laughs> um, and um, he told me the whole story. No, you weren't the only ones that were the enablers. So really, who had? I said, we had a radar on you all the time, he says, but we were too busy chasing our own people. I said, really? Yes. I says, do you remember when these huge, huge loads of of weed and cocaine were coming across the border. Yeah, they were just let in. My first editor on the book was one of the customs agents that got busted by Richard Medina, who was the one that I interviewed. But I think the one that really opened my eyes, throughout the book I talk about luck, okay? Luck, I just stick with it. Finally, when, when I was at the peak, I had this lady, elderly lady, who used to come down from Dana Point, pick up 250 kilos, and we'd go back and forth, back and forth, that's in the book. And the last time I saw her, she, she, this time she had gone off with 150 kilos of weed, and they were waiting for her at San Onofre. She hadn't called, and I called her house, I said, where's Pat? I said, they, they, you know, her daughter says, she called me, this. This afternoon, she said, they got busted in San Onofre. They were waiting for them, they already knew. And I just went, wow, why didn't they come to my house? What happened there? Why didn't they track it to me? That scared the heck out of me. That, number one, again, luck is not on everybody's side, okay? Um, that the best way to clean up karma is to help others, which is what I did. I, I was helping young heroin addicts, and while I was doing that, I got called away to Pennsylvania during the, uh, the Marilitos uh, Cuban refugees that Jimmy Carter, 125, so I went to work for them for a while, and then I went to work for the Vado Station and um, working with um, gang members. Then I started getting into workforce development. It went on and on and on. And uh, I retired uh, as a workforce development professional managing uh, uh, for, for county mental health. I wanted to show young people first. My, my first target audience was young folks, okay? And then later it changed, but I wanted to show how everybody isn't as lucky as I am. Uh, how the life of a drug dealer coming for a, from a poverty-stricken barrio like, like San Isidro um, is the wrong choice. That was my first thing, okay? Um, and, and as I looked at my targeted audience, 
I said, no, can't be. Can't be just young adults. It's gotta be educators. It's gotta be law enforcement. It's gotta be probation departments. It's gotta be youth counselors, prison populations. So my audience started growing. For my readers, uh, please, um, you can find my information on um, the website that was uh, uh, built by Ewins Publishing Company. Uh, you can reach my website at www.juanmedinabooks.com. You can also get my book at amazon.com, the Ewins Publishing Company, and other retailers. Mm -hmm.